Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. Sean back again for another transfer breakdown video. This one is more Mountain West news. It's Chad Baker, the Duquesne transfer, headed to San Diego State. Very big time addition because Baker's one of my favorite, you know, freshman last season to watch in all of mid-major basketball and maybe in all of college basketball. 6'7", very good athlete. He had a great putback dunk, I think, in the A-10 tournament. He just can really attack the rim if he gets there, but he's more of a perimeter threat. He shot 41% from deep and can really create uh, open looks for himself on the three-point line. He had this shot, I remember, against Rhode Island. It was an off-balance, about 16-footer just fading away and nailed it as he was falling to the ground. He can create room. He can shoot over defenders. He's not afraid to take shots and hoist. He shot 41% from outside, 81% from the free throw line. Good athlete for sure. He's, you know, super bouncy, good vertical athleticism. He's a solid defender, but at times he did get lost on the defensive end and rotations. I think that's more of a youthful thing than anything. I think over time he'll definitely just get that side of the game because he's a good athlete and he can defend really multiple positions, just about one through four if needed because of his speed and his basketball IQ. I think overall the the rotations, like I said, will eventually figure themselves out because that's something over time you'll just get more accustomed to. And for a coach that emphasizes defense like Brian Dutcher does, he's definitely going to try to get Chad Baker to learn how to do all the things that he wants his players to do on the defensive end. Coach Dutcher definitely knows how to get the most out of his guys, and Chad Baker is going to be a major player. You look at last season's San Diego State team, they were very good, but they just didn't have an answer for Syracuse's zone in the NCAA tournament. Matt Mitchell and Jordan Shackler gone. Both started last season, and Terrell Gomez is gone. Mitchell, obviously, fantastic player. He was more of that undersized four-man. For now, that's kind of what I see Chad Baker playing. I think at best, he's more of a true wing. But he did play the four at times last year when uh, Marcus Weathers and Michael Hughes weren't always on the floor, whether it was foul trouble or injuries. But Duquesne only played 15 games. I think, ideally, you want Chad Baker as a wing guy. And to make the starting lineup look something like Trey Pulliam at the one, as he's using the free year to return, then at the two, you can go a few different directions. You can go either Adam Seiko, or you could go with a younger player in Lamont Butler, a very talented piece for uh, San Diego State in the future. Then at the wing, you know, you could go Chad Baker and put... Uh, Thyro Diabate at the four, the incoming transfer from Portland, or you can go this way and go Matt Bradley at the three. You can put Matt Bradley at the two. That's the kind of versatility Bradley brings because he's super strong. He can play the two and the three. He's a true wing guy. Yeah, really good scores. One of the best scores in the Pac-12 last season. But I, for how I have it now, is Matt Bradley at the three. You could definitely play the three, even though he's six four. Chad Baker at the four and Nathan Mensa at the five with Joshua Tomayic, Keith Dinwiddie, Jaden Lede, Keisha Johnson, Thyro Diabate, uh, who, Chi Evans, I believe I missed there. Um, I believe that's it. Oh, we have uh, Demarche Johnson coming in as a freshman next season, but that's a very deep roster for now because you have a lot of pieces. You have uh, Agwek Arope also returning so we'll see what he ends up doing next year. He's been a pretty steady piece for the Aztecs in recent seasons. Lede coming in, he's a two-time transfer. He already sat once as a transfer from Ohio State to TCU, so I would suspect he's eligible next year. But I guess with the new transfer rule, we'll have to see if he's not graduated. Definitely going to be something to watch. A rope is continuing to develop. He's a really good defender. He adds a lot to the table on that end. I think he's still going to improve on the offensive end, but right now he's more of just a rotational big that comes in to put some defensive intensity on the floor. Diabate is going to be a good transfer from Portland. He was steady there for the Pilots the last few seasons. You know, San Diego State, they lost a lot. Like that, There's no getting away from that. Obviously, Matt Mitchell's gone. He was the conference player of the year. Jordan Shackle is gone. He was one of the best shooters in the conference. Terrell Gomez, same deal for him, one of the best shooters in the conference. But getting a guy like Trey Pulliam back is sneaky because he was the point guard last season, and he was very steady on the defensive end. He had a game-winning shot against Nevada. He brings a lot to the table. I think he's definitely going to be a major piece next season. And the depth continues to sprout. I mean, Jaden Lede 
coming in. That's a guy that's experienced at the high major level playing in both the Big Ten and the Big 12. You have Nathan Mensa coming back once again. When he's healthy, he is a very steady player. Could average a double-double. You know, any given night, really, he can put a double-double up. Lamont Butler could be the next great guard at San Diego State because he's a great defender. He has some ways to go shooting, but he's just a really talented player. Just when you watch him, you can tell it's all there for him. Chad Baker, though, he has four years of eligibility left because of the free COVID year. So you're essentially just getting a guy who averaged 9.2 points a game for Duquesne last season, the A-10. You're essentially just getting a guy that's like a fresh recruit. Like you, if you recruited someone out of the 2021 class like Dermashe Johnson, uh, you're, he has four years of eligibility left. So does Chad Baker, and he's already played one year of college basketball and averaged nearly double figures, shooting 40% from deep. That's one benefit you can get out of the free year, the COVID year, and Chad Baker played 15 games last season, started 13, and was a big-time piece for Keith Keith Dambrot's Duquesne Dukes roster. I expect him to average double figures for San Diego State next season, using his quickness, his great ball handling for a six foot seven guy, 40% percent from deep I think he could you know even improve on that I think he'd be one of the best shooters in the Mountain West that sweet lefty stroke is fantastic it's just as pure as it gets I I think he's gonna improve his game as a whole you know I think there's more post ability but you know if you you know contest his shot try to close out he can easily throw a pump fake out there and drive to the basket and throw down an easy dunk that's just kind of what he brings to the table I think San Diego State at the moment is still third for me in the Mountain West, but not that far behind Colorado State. I could have the Aztecs ranked in my next way too early top 25. We'll have to wait and see on that, but they've had a great offseason. Matt Bradley and Chad Baker, two of the best additions out of anybody in the Mountain West, maybe the two best additions. So definitely excited to see the way Brian Dutcher is able to put this roster together next year and we can't forget that Stephon Mitchell is down to three schools San Diego State Utah and Minnesota that would be a great fit for the Aztecs and I, that would lock them into my top 25 without a doubt so definitely like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time have a good one